Well, George was our first child, so I was uh, in my early 30s, and obviously it was an exciting time, a new child, and having lots of fun and not much sleep, and watching him kind of develop and, and grow up. As a parent, the first child, you don't really know what you're doing. You're learning as, as you go along. But every, every tiny little thing, every tiny recognition that you get from the, from the baby is, um, is something very special at that stage. We noticed a small lump right on the top of the, his forehead. So we went to the doctors, I don't know, a couple of days later, and they came in and they said, right, let's examine him. So they laid him down, and they felt around his body, and they looked at each other, and they said, we think it's leukemia. And it was a devastating word to hear. All of a sudden, your child is seriously, seriously ill. He needs blood transfusions, and we need to start him on chemotherapy almost immediately. And it was, it was, it was devastating. It was really difficult. And they're very honest. They were, the doctors were very honest with us, and they said, well, I think they gave it between a 10 and a 20% chance of survival. And it was, it was really, really tough. It was just not knowing what was going to happen, not knowing what his chances were, living by the minute at that point. Um, he was seriously ill and they pumped him full of bloods and chemotherapy and he, he, was, he was almost like a, just a ball, a huge ball, looked like he was going to burst. Um, he had so much fluid inside him and those first few days were, were traumatic and there were at least two occasions where we were sat down and told that the chances of him making it through the night uh, were slim. I used to have this recurring nightmare of, of carrying this small white coffin and, and waking up in cold sweats every time I had it. Um, thankfully, I never had to live that scenario. Now, there were other parents in the hospital with, with circumstances very similar to our own, whose children didn't make it and didn't make it whilst we were there. And, and that's how, how anyone can deal with that, I, I don't know, but we were lucky. With George, he's 26 years old now, and, um, and he's, he's great. Due to me having leukemia when I was younger and all the treatment I did go through, I do realise how lucky I am to be here and appreciate all these experiences I have in life. I remember he came home one day, he was about four uh, at this point. So that was, you know, three and a half years post-treatment. And um, he said, Dad, I'm gonna support Manchester United. I said, no, you're not. One in two of us will get cancer in our lifetime. Help us fight back. To give 20 or 10 pounds, text 20 or 10 to 70404. Or to donate online, go to channel4.com forward slash SU2C. 100% of the money you give will fund life-saving cancer research.